Ramesh, you did a good job in explaining what thinking is. I tell you the truth, the first moment I see your presentation up there, thinking, I was thinking about something better because I was doing programming just now. So I was thinking about a hey, computer, what kind of thinking that they have. And I was thinking about RAM, RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. And one more thing that I could relate to is inside your name, Ramesh. It starts with R-A-M. So it means that you think, and then I think that your, your name also has thinking itself in okay, is it correct? So, so how I'm going to evaluate you is I'm going to use your name, Ramesh. Thinking at E S uh, Ramesh M E S H. So you have the strong in M. What does M stand for? Mind map. You use features and you use everything. You use diagrams in order to connect to us to link. You put an emphasis on link, which I like because you really link us to your presentations. And then for E, eloquence. You speak like you are an expert already. You really are thinking. And then you put us all in front of you, a lot of data, a lot of facts for us to remember and to take away of. Hey, this is what Ramesh has been thinking. Hey, this is what Ramesh has been telling us. Oh, so we can remember and we can think. Now, that's your strength. And then we move on to your last two alphabets, S and H. Your room of improvements, well, 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 I tell you the good news. Source. In order for us to believe in you, we need to know your credibility. And how you do that? You need source. For example, you are telling us 55,000 times a day, we think. Hey, what kinds of data is that? How do you get the data? Is this your makeup? Hey, I was sleeping, then I feel uh, 55,000. Or maybe it, you count yourself. Hey, how many times I think? You count yourself 55,000. We don't know the source. It's very hard to believe if we don't know the source. And the last thing, H, is your height. Heighten up your speech with focal variety. Use pauses, use emphasis, so that you know what you are telling us, why you want us to know about this, what kinds of points and takeaways that Ramesh want us to take, to bring back home, to know that we think about this. Use pauses for copyrights, and if you care, use more emotions to describe your emotional relevance. For example, you are talking about spiders. You can say, oh, spiders, <coughs> and then you can link it to our emotions of being afraid, and that's for copyrights. So just remember your name, Ramesh, and then you will be good ready, and you will kick in for the next presentations and the next projects. Hello, Toastmasters. Thank you.